In this video, I am going to show you how to knit this beautiful mason jar cover. If you'd like to skip some parts, there is a timestamp in the description below. For this project, I will be using Cascade 220 Walter Pima cotton yarn. It is a DK weight yarn and one hank is 220 yards per 100 grams. It is 100% Pima cotton yarn. Pima cotton is higher quality material compared to regular cotton. It is softer but stronger and also got this nice silky texture. I will be using the colorway natural but this line offered so many colorways. So I'm sure you can find your favorite color for this project. For a side note, there is Walter Pima cotton fine which is a sports weight yarn so be careful when you're purchasing to complete this project you will need a crochet hook i used size e but similar to this size is fine this is only for cast on you will also need scissors and then blunt tapestry needle to weave in the end for the knitting needles, I use a size US6 4mm circular knitting needles. The length should be 22 inches or longer to use a magic loop method. You can also use US6 double pointed needles. All the supplies are also listed down below. I also have a free pattern on my webpage at palmerycraft.com. You can click the link to get to the full pattern. First, we are going to cast on 6 stitches using Emily Ockert's Circular Cast On. If you are not familiar with this method, I have another tutorial listed down below. Or simply click the pop-up on the right corner of this screen. I'm a little awkward when it comes to crochet since I don't really crochet. So if you are intimidated using this method because of the crochet hook, I promise you it's not really that bad and it's worth the practice. This method is absolutely amazing. Now I have 6 stitches. I'm going to transfer these stitches onto circular knitting needle. From here, I am going to be using magic loop method. Again, I have another tutorial for the method, so you can click the link down below or use the pop-up on the right corner of this screen. When you set up the magic loop method, make sure the working yarn is on the back needle and instead of going around like this, that will create a extra stitch as a yarn over. So make sure you're bringing the working yarn in between these two needles and toward the back. So this is how you set up the magic loop. pull the back needle and start working on this first round. Next few rounds are going to be increasing rounds. So we are going to yarn over first stitch, knit, and when it's come to magic loop method, make sure you tighten the first stitch so there won't be too much gap in here. Yarn over again, knit, yarn over again and knit. 
So you're going to repeat yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one for the first round. Yarn over and make sure right here is tight. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and knit one. And if you get lost where you are at, whenever you have the tail, that's the beginning of the round. Second round is going to be yarn over, knit two, yarn over, knit two, yarn over, knit two. And we'll do the same for the other side. And then third round is going to be repeat of yarn over knit three. Continue doing this until you reach yarn over knit seven stitches and total of 48 stitches on the needles. By the way, if you like learning how to knit this messenger cover, please hit like and also subscribe for future update. Every click will help this channel grow. Thank you for supporting Palmieri Arts and Crafts. The first round is to knit. I will be using magic loop method, but you can also use double pointed needles too. The second round is to purl. Yarn over twice. So wrap the yarn around twice purl, yarn over twice, repeat all the way to the end. The third round can be a little tricky since we are dropping all of those yarn over stitches to create this long stitch. So take your time when you're working on this round. The first stitch is to slip the purled stitch and then drop the yarn over stitches. Slip the purl stitch, drop the yarn over stitches. And we are going to keep doing this for six stitches. So I did two, this is three, four, five and six one two three four five six and then we are going to tug to make it straighten and then transfer these six stitches onto the left needle And um, we are going to put these last three stitches over first three stitches and keep these on your left needle and then knit these stitches. And make sure these yarn, well, these stitches are not uh, crossed like this when you are trying to knit because that's not going to make a nice pattern. So make sure they are right next to each other and not crossing over. And 
and we are going to continue doing this all the way to the end uh, but at the end I will show you a little trick to make the pattern looks nice once we finish knitting all the stitches we are going to knit into this long loop big loop right here between the last stitch and the first stitch of this round and the reason i do this is because we are knitting in the round and where the transition happens from the previous to the next round the pattern doesn't look very neat compared to the other sections so by knitting into the loop we are holding this stitch up so it creates nice open pattern the last round is to purl every single stitch until two stitches left on the needle once two stitches are left simply purl together so now this extra stitch is holding this loop so it will create a nice neat open space repeat round one through four four more times once we finish working on the main pattern, we are going to work on edging. The first round of edge is knit through the back loop. So we are going to knit through the back loop from the beginning all the way to the end. Round two of edging is knit. Repeat round one and round two one more time and then bind off. Now you completed this pattern. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment below. I also have two different patterns for mason jars. You can click on the pop-up on this screen to see follow along videos or visit my website for free patterns. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Happy knitting.